Hi everybody, make no bones about it. With war mode in PUBG and the Xbox One, we have a tool to make ourselves better at PUBG gunplay. No longer do we have to drop school or drop Picardo with those big gaps in between while we're waiting in the lobby. With war mode, you can constantly respawn, well, every 30 seconds anyway, and be back in the fight and be, be killing lots of people every game to build up those twitch muscles to build up that muscle memory to make gunfights easier and to make you a more effective player so how does war mode do this if you haven't already been convinced so the first thing is that war mode is is fun <laughs> it's a fun game to play it's not battle royale it's team deathmatch um in the instant you're seeing in front of you now this is three teams of eight but blue hole could do whatever they like with it and you know and, it, and it's great fun the games are pretty short sort of 15 minutes or less and uh, it's good however if we start at the beginning the first thing it makes you better at to help you with your gunplay is communication because if you can get good communication going between your squad mates who are complete strangers you're going to find it much easier when you're communicating with your squad mates, your friends, or randoms, I guess, when you're playing duos or squads in the main game. What you have to do in war mode is figure out where the enemies are if you can't see them. Now, in the normal game, you use your ears a lot for this. You listen out. But in war mode, there's so much going on. There's so much gunfire going on. There's the sound of parachutes coming in. There's grenades going off that you can't just use sound. You've got to be looking at where your teammates are, which direction they're facing in, who they're firing at, and importantly, where they're not on the map to give you an idea where enemies are and where perhaps you should be looking or flanking. And also the fact that you should probably be looking in the other direction as well. So it gives you more options in your gunfights about where and how you're going to be taking on the enemy. One of the big things is the sheer amount of practice you're going to get in war mode on PUBG on the Xbox One with the different weapons. You know, in a, a matter of games, you will probably throw more grenades, fire more pistol shots than you will in dozens of games on the full game. And I would heartily recommend practice with your pistol. Practice whipping it out to finish enemies off after you've downed them. Or if you've run out of guns, run out of bullets to do the main gun, flip to your pistol. Grenades as well. Practice priming them before you throw. And just, just well, as soon as you spawn in, if you think some enemies are in a particular direction, have a quick look, throw a grenade and just get better at judging distance. Now, of course, with the different weapons, with the sniper rifles, with the uh, light machine guns, with the assault rifles, and we will be having uh, submachine guns, shotguns, probably the crossbow as well. This allows you to practice the different play styles you need to get better at those gunfights. Gun so uh, if you pick up, a, say, a sniper rifle like the AWM, you can practice peaking rocks and having sniper battles across the map with somebody else, or even taking on people with the sniper up close, where it's a case of hit them once with the sniper, whip your pistol out and finish them off that way. You'll become better at judging bullet drop and uh, how much you need to lead people by, and just the feel of a bolt action sniper and how you need to be centering to get on target, to fire the bullet and then move. If you've got the assault rifles, again, that's gonna give you practice in taking people on, you know, and by all means, play the class. So if you're a sniper, hang back, hide in the rocks and snipe people from medium to long range. If you've got an assault rifle, get down and dirty, attack the other team, flank them with the idea of getting into those one-to-one, -one, one to two gunfights where you've got a limited amount of ammo and the reload is incredibly slow because you've got no quick quick reload clips or um, extended uh, quick reload clips. You know, you've got to take, a go, take someone down, knock them, and then take the next guy down after that. So you can practice pl with aggressive gunfights and more passive, more tactical gunfights that way as well. So in war mode, we're getting lots of close quarters combat gunfight practice. We're getting the medium range stuff and we're getting the long range practice too. And what we're doing is, as we're playing, it's normalizing gunfights for us. Because if you think about a game on Erangel or Miramar, 
especially in solos, you could play for thirty over 30 minutes, over half an hour, and not have a gunfight with anybody until right at the end. And yet you're expecting yourself to then be good at it. Good at it. Well, you're not going to be, A, because you haven't been practicing. And if you only ha- practice, like, have three gunfights, you know, in a game, every hour in solos, then you're never going to build up those twitch muscles, that muscle memory that makes gunfighting second nature. You know, that makes whipping out your pistol second nature, that makes when somebody ducks behind cover, getting a grenade, priming it, going to a low throw and tossing it behind cover. And that's what war mode gives us. So we're in, when we're in the final circles, when we're in that one on one versus one versus one situation, we're not worried. When we see that other person hiding behind that tree or running towards us, we know exactly what to do. In fact, we don't even know what we have to do because we've been playing War Node and we will do it automatically. We will center, we will aim down sight, we will fire for the upper body and chest and the recoil will take it into their head. Or if they're behind a tree, as I say, you'll you'll move out to get an angle or you'll toss a grenade to blow them out of cover and it will all be much, much faster, much more natural and smoother and you'll be much better at it. So there we go. If you want to get better at gunfights, if you want to win more chicken dinners, play war mode, play the classes, play with all the different weapons, embrace the weapons you get. When you get like the, uh, I think it's the Mark 24 with the two times scope and 10 bullets in it, and you're like, ooh, use it as a DMR. You use that two times at distance. When you've got the M249 or even things like the Grozer, use it with that hollow at distance you know f- flick it to single fire fire at people from from a long way away flack it back fire it back to auto and take people on and you will get better at gunfights and you will win more PUBG chicken dinners anyway that's enough from me put your questions and comments down below thank you very much for watching and i will see you again soon